Our story begins with the ultimate betrayal. Cronus, a titan, overthrows his father, Uranus, the sky god, igniting a cycle of vengeance and fear. Gaia's prophecy foretold that Cronus, too, would be usurped by his child. Join me as we unravel this monumental chapter of mythological history, brimming with intrigue, power struggles, and the shaping of a new divine order. After the Titan Cronus came to power by overthrowing his father, Uranus, he married Rhea. However, Cronus was warned that he would be destined to be overcome by his son, just as he had overpowered his father. This prophecy was also echoed by Gaia, who aggrieved by the imprisonment of her other children, the Cyclopes and the Hecatonchares by Cronus supported the prophecy's validity. In a desperate attempt to prevent this prophecy from coming true, Cronus swallowed each of his children immediately after they were born. Rhea, distressed by the loss of her children, devised a plan to save her youngest child, Zeus. When Zeus was born, she handed Cronus a rock wrapped in swaddling clothes, which Cronus swallowed, thinking it was his son. Meanwhile, Zeus was whisked away to be raised in secret. Rhea concealed Zeus on the island of Crete, where he would be safe from Cronus's insidious appetite. She entrusted Zeus to the care of the nurturing goat Amothea and a group of devoted nymphs. Together, they ensured Zeus thrived in their protective embrace. Under their watchful eyes, Zeus was regaled with tales of divine splendor and heroic deeds of gods and titans. These captivating narratives kindled a fire of determination within him, hidden from Cronus. Zeus absorbed the wisdom of his celestial kin, becoming a beacon of hope and potential destined for greatness. As Zeus grew to adulthood, he yearned to break the chains binding his siblings and overthrow Cronus. Seeking counsel among the deities, Zeus turned to Metis, the daughter of the Titans' oceans and Tethys, renowned for her wisdom. He sought to challenge his father's rule and rescue his siblings. With the help of Gaia or another ally, depending on the version of the myth, he obtained a special emetic potion, prepared with the help of Metis. He dressed up as a servant and gave this drink to Cronus. After drinking it, Cronus vomits up Zeus's siblings, Hestia, Demeter, Hera, Hades, and Poseidon. Cronus rallied his fellow titans to fight alongside him, including Coas, Cryus, Hyperion, and Iapetus. Atlas and Menoetius, sons of Iapetus, also joined the titans. On the Olympian side, Zeus was joined by his brothers Poseidon and Hades. Hera, Demeter, and Hestia chose not to actively participate in combat but supported their brothers. Some titans, like Prometheus and Themis, sided with the Olympians as well. The war raged on for a decade, with neither side willing to concede. However, Zeus received a crucial revelation from Gaia, the primordial goddess of the earth, urging him to free her children, the Cyclopes and Hecaton Cares, from Tartarus. Upon releasing them, Zeus gained powerful allies. In gratitude for their release, the Cyclopes gave Zeus his thunderbolts, Poseidon his trident, and Hades a helmet that rendered its wearer invisible. The heavens roared with the thunder of Zeus's bolts, and the sea foamed with the rage of Poseidon's trident, as the earth trembled under the might of Hades's helm. Zeus struck down Cronus with his thunderbolt. Zeus unleashed a fury of thunderbolts so powerful that the mountains themselves were said to catch fire and the rivers boiled in their banks. The sky became a canvas for the violent tableau of Zeus's wrath, painted with the brilliance of divine lightning that fragmented the shadowy veil of the Titans' reign. One by one, the Titans fell before the Olympians. Zeus's final blow to Cronus marked the end of the Titan King's tyrannical reign. With these powerful weapons and allies, the Olympians defeated the Titans. As the Titans' dominion crumbled, Zeus called upon the Hecaton Cares, those hundred-handed giants, to cast their former rulers into the dark pit of Tartarus. With each Titan that fell, a great cheer rose from the ranks of the Olympians, echoing through the halls of Mount Olympus to the very depths of the underworld. Victory belonged to the Olympians, and they ascended to Mount Olympus, where Zeus claimed the throne as the king of gods. With Hera as his queen and his siblings by his side, they ushered in a new era of divine order and stability. However, the story does not end here. The Olympians would bring forth an era of expansion and growth, giving rise to countless gods, heroes, and mortals who would shape the world as we know it. Please like and subscribe for more videos.